recently had an email from one of the harmonica hobos asking how do you play along to your favourite songs. So whatever your song is, I'm using this example, this is my friend's The Swamp Stomp String Band. It's a song off our album we recorded a couple of years back, The Ballad of a Sentimental Fool. Because they play in stupid keys, they chose to do this in F sharp, so I've got a B harmonica. I hope you've got a B harmonica. If not, don't worry. Because these principles you can apply to your own songs, whatever key they're in. I'm presuming you know, already know if it's a major or minor. I'm not going to go into that today. If you've got a song, say whatever song uh, you wanted to play, uh, Moondance by Van Morrison, just Google it. It'll tell you whether it's major, minor, and it'll tell you the key. Then you're going to select your harmonica and your position. Because this song's in F sharp, it's F sharp major. I'm going to choose to play second position and as my old harmonica mentor, the great Will Greener, used to say, if you don't know what you're doing, hang around on the two draw. fine to me. I don't need any other notes. That's it. The lesson's over. Hang around on the two drawer. It's your key notes. It's your tonic notes. Dynamics. Volume. Up or down. Loud or quiet. Listen to what the band's doing. Are they going up? Are they going down? Maybe some long droney notes. my hands there. So the next thing that I want to do is start to listen to some components of this song and see what's going on. We've got that piano haven't we at the start. So what are our subdivisions? We've got one, two, three and four. One, two, so that's going to tell me a lot of what I can do rhythmically. I might copy a bit of that even with the chord. I try and pick up that melody. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I've just stolen a bit of that piano line and I'm going to use it as my own. Okay, and I'm going to combine that with my long droney notes that I've got. I'm not going to play everything that he's doing, I'm just going to take that little bit. So I've picked a little motif of that piano. I just wanted a hook, something to hang on to at first. I could go and take more of the piano and transcribe that, but I think really the place to go to next is listening to the vocal melody. So we've got this. Now if you're working out any song, the vocal melody is a way to cut through all this theory knowledge and scales and if you copy the vocal melody of whatever you're trying to play you're getting a root into the song a direct root that when you play it people are going to respond to it and it's going to work it's going to work and that melody contains so much information so let's have another listen to that i'm going to try and sing it so we've got baby baby da da Oh, we've got a bend. Shame about that. Da, 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 da. Let's try and get the next bit. 
I'm not saying to play along with the singer. You might want to do that unison, but that's probably, it's quite difficult to do because the way singers phrase, you're not going to be perfectly in tune with them unless you really know the melody. But within that, those notes, that's giving you a whole load of information. You can use that and improvise with it just to help you get it. And again, three, three, three bend, 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 two bend. So within that, I'm getting a whole load of information I can use and play around with those notes. So I use the first verse to work out the melody. I'm not saying you should necessarily play over the first verse. You can, you know, we're making art. It's up to you to make the choices. Some people might like it, some people won't. There's a saying for country music session musicians for <laughs> that you never play on the first verse. There might be some truth in that, I think, because a lot of country songs are story songs, they're narrative. You want to hear the lyrics. But we've taken that melody and we're going to start to bring it in on the second verse. And I want you to just use those little melody notes. And I'm going to start to play in the space around the singing of the second verse. So this is a great technique technique. Start to find the gaps and play in the gaps. It's very common in country music, in blues, in all kinds of music. Here we go, let's try that. Here's the first chorus. So we're not doing much here. Maybe a little drone. Now I'm going to play around in the second verse. Here we go. Find the space. Overlap a little bit. Hope you're all doing well with this. Let me know in the comments, how's this going? I wanted to come at this from a non-theoretical angle at first and say if you don't know any scales, as long as you've got the right harmonica, you know what position you're playing in, you can play along with stuff just by listening and picking out melody fragments and rhythmic information that's going on in the song. Now, you may want more of a map than that as we start to get into playing around with some licks and making up our own little licks. Having a little scale map can be very helpful. So I would say your go-to scales in second position. You probably know this. This is a major song, so I've got to say the major pentatonic. Also, don't forget the blues scale. Now using blues over a major song, we can think of that as like a potent flavour, heavier spice in the mix, okay? Here's the second verse. Go I'm going to play a lot of major. And I stay. All the music fades away. The curtains close. They start the show. They lock the doors and they pour the now when it goes to the middle eight, I'm going to add a bit more spice because the song's getting heavier. Here we go. Okay. to major, more emotive. Three draw is a lovely note to hang about on. Holding notes builds tension. all 
over the piano solo, but I just wanted to show you. Imagine that was my solo. Over the piano solo, I'd probably lay back a little bit more. Last verse. I don't want to be doing a lot over this. This is all about the lyrics. No one in the audience cares about the harmonica here. Maybe the harmonica players do. It's all about the lyrics. It's all about what he's got to say. It's not about the harmonica. If in doubt, play less. Now I can drop in again. Hey, I'm here. Oh, sorry, this is actually the last verse. So the other verse I could have played in a bit. Maybe a little bit bluesy. It's getting later in the song, maybe I can get away with that. Maybe too spicy. Up to you. Dirty notes, 3-4 draw, great tool. Try and find those soulful notes, you know, your three draw. If it sounds good to you, it is good. There we go, the ballad of a sentimental fool. Thanks everybody, I hope this lesson's useful. So I advise you, pick your favorite song and try this system. You're gonna start, obviously, the more complex the song is, the more work you're gonna to have to do. I would go for simple songs that don't use too many chords. Obviously, blues songs are great. I hope you go and have fun with this and I hope it's useful. Let me know in the comments how you get on. I'll see you for another video very soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.